What's going on everybody? Thanks for dropping by my channel today. I know you're used to me doing totally different types of videos and today is going to be a review. So recently I did a video with my friend Vicky from Fighting Against Multiple Sclerosis and my audio, it was, we kind of had a situation where we rented some space where we'd be in a confined environment where the audio would be good. I wasn't concerned about it but the opportunity was taken from us at the last minute so we had to film outside and my audio was a bit wonky and it wasn't great so a company called fine fine reached out to me and gave me the opportunity to get a hold of one of their wireless lav mics or lapel mics and they asked me if they give give my honest opinion about the mic and so that's what i'm doing today they did send me this mic for free um, they are not paying me or sponsoring this video, but I am reviewing this product to see what I think about it So let's get into it. This is not going to be a proper unboxing as I have already unboxed all of the materials So you get the lapel with the uh, I guess it would be a mini XLR port you got one receiver and the receiver in that I attached to takes AA batteries it's pretty basic, an uh, on and off switch on the front of it and the set button at the top. Then the other receiver port takes AAA batteries, has an on and off switch on it. So it's all pretty basic. There's nothing very complicated about any of it. You get an adapter for your iPhone. And you also have an adapter for your camera, if you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack on your camera, you have one for it. Um, but for this test, I'm gonna try out the um, the lab mic. I'm gonna clip it on my shirt, and then we're gonna see how well this wireless connectivity works. But currently, I'm using the Rode Video Mic Rode Video Micro. I'm gonna switch over to the fine fine wireless lav mic uh, the model is k037b so if you just want to look that up i'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you um, like what you hear today and you want to buy one of these because it's about 40 bucks on amazon and it's a really good deal so uh let's get into that For the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave the mic exterior so you can see it. Normally, I would probably want to put it under my clothing so you couldn't see it and you couldn't tell where the audio is coming from and whatnot. But, uh, so, um, looks, I'm using my phone to pick up the audio and I'll just sync this in post. I'm going to show you the difference between the audio from the camera right now. That's how the audio from the camera sounds and... This is how the audio from the mic plugged into my phone sounds. Um, if you have a camera that you can plug it into through the setup, you wouldn't have to worry about the onboard camera audio. Um, but right now I don't, so that's why I have to use it like this. Um, so I'm a, I guess I'm gonna do some walking around. I'm gonna pull this antenna out on this first, and uh, see how this sounds. I don't know if you can hear that noise over there, but I can. And if you can't hear that noise, then this is doing a really good job. But I'll be right back. Right now, I'm probably about three, four feet away from the computer setup and the camera. Walking into the kitchen right now. I wonder how well this audio still sounds, if it's breaking, if it sounds good or not. Um, I should walk outside. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Let's see if I get bathroom echo. Hey, Bella. Hey. Sorry, 
had to put you in here. You was being loud out there. Hey, hey. Okay. Let's see if you can hear the toilet flush. Okay, lay down. Are you gonna stay in here for just a little bit longer, Bella? Okay. Kinda wanna go to the vending machine and get some snacks. See if this thing is working really good. Let's do that. I'm gonna walk over to the vending machine. That's a little bit further. We can test this out a little bit more. So I'm over here at the vending machine. And we are, I think I'm gonna get me a, uh, a Sprite. I won't know exactly how well this turned out as far as like distance and stuff until after editing and everything, but I've seen a few other reviews and it seems to work really good. Um, looking at the sound bar on my phone to see the decibels and stuff like that, it looks like it's picking up the audio very well. Um, I can't wait to put this in post and edit it and see how well the audio comes out. Man, only walked like 10, 20 feet, and I feel like I'm out of breath. Goodness, I need exercise, big time. Anyways, um, you know what I want to try out? I wonder if it's, I want to see if it sounds different. Put this. Can you hear me? Oh, I guess it still picks it up. I wonder how much different or how much better it sounds if I put this this on here. I mean, I'm guessing outside it would be dope, you know? Maybe I'll do a review on modifications later. Hmm. But for now, um, this actually sounds pretty good. Um, I went out where it was a little no noisier in the hallway and stuff like that. I went to the vending machine. And everything sounded pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to listen back at the audio. And then I'll start this back up. Well, I went and I listened to... Well, that didn't go anywhere. But I listened to the audio from the mic. Um, from when I walked all the way into the hallway. And going into to the bathroom. whatnot. not. Um, there is a bit of a... I guess it's more of a directional mic. So it picks up a lot of sound around it. Um... I still think it's pretty good because for 40 bucks, that wireless signal traveled all the way outside. It could hear me putting the quarters in the machine. Uh, it sounded like it was coming in very clear and no, with no static. So that's a plus because one of the things about wireless technology is the interference. And there's layers and layers of concrete wall and, you know, obstructions in between the signal from here to where I was at. And... It still came in pretty solid, so I think it's pretty good. Um, I know there's probably more expensive models of uh, mics out there that probably sound a little bit better, but you might spend like three or four hundred dollars, maybe even seven hundred. Um, with this being only at a forty dollar price point, um, able to pick up your voice very great as long as you can do sound control and you know how to process your audio. You're going to get great quality out of this mic for someone who's on a budget, like a low budget, to where you need to spend like $20, $30 a pop on things instead of like 
two or three hundred dollars for each little thing you need to get your production started so i know i look funny because i put the little road <laughs> windscreen or dead cat on top of it but i mean it works you know i mean if i went outside with this thing it would probably sound really good because uh the one the little bit of foam you get on it isn't necessarily protecting it from you know wind or noise it's still going to sound a little funny but this thing being that you can still hear me with it on means that it can pick up sound at you know great distances um it's it's omnidirectional or or something like that but um with this on it in the wind it'll help you know keep that wind out because it, it helps with the road mic so i know it'll help with this one um i probably should take take this off here anyways um i think it's a great mic um i totally love the fact that i have this mic now because uh it's I'm just up my game with you know my production value um i could do interviews i can do um these talking head videos and i could move around a little bit i don't have to be i don't have to have, have the mic in a particular spot um i just recently did um some interviews for a video i wanted to put out um i reviewed some of the clips and they're you know they're all right i have to um post process the audio and um premiere when i you know i had to sync it up because i had to set the mic in a certain spot and i had to run a 15 foot cable to the camera and you know i went through this whole process and i wish i could have had a lav mic just hooked it up to the camera or device i was recording to and hooked the lav mic up to the person and let them talk and if they had to move a little bit they could if they wanted to you know do anything i wouldn't have to have a boom mic above wouldn't have to put a mic down below pop this bad boy on your day's good as long as you got battery juice you can keep recording and i would suggest make sure you get two double a's for the um the base that has the two double a's for the base that has the the, the mini xlr port that you plug your your lav mic into and two triple a's for the one um, that you're going to be plugging into the camera. Um, I would say get rechargeable batteries. Um, you're probably going to run out of, you don't want to keep wasting money on batteries, so it's good to have rechargeable. Some of you probably already know, you know, know this kind of stuff. So, you know, just a tip for anybody who's thinking about getting one, get some rechargeable batteries, two double A's and two triple A's. Um, <clears throat> if your type person wants to go completely cheap and you want to get those like dollar batteries from dollar general or dollar tree or whatever the dollar store is near you yeah keep doing that however whatever you know do your thing to each his own um but with this i i think it's dope and uh i think this company did a really great job on this product and uh that's it for today if you like this video you like the review and you want to see more content more reviews on different products um i plan on doing some more reviews in this setting or a better setting this is kind of like last minute rig up <laughs> of a setting so it doesn't look that great but if you want to see more of these reviews or anything just hit a like down below subscribe don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when i drop a video and uh, i'll see you guys later